All right, gang, so I am back for another review. This time, the Bath & Body Works Happy Easter Cotton Candy Marshmallow 2016 Three Wick Candle. There you see on the white pedestal before you. And I'm here to sort of give my general, of course, opinion of it. And then, as I always enjoy doing for you guys, the sort of in-depth sniff review and comparison to other scents. Um, this candle, I believe this is the second year that this is coming out as an Easter candle called Cotton Candy Marshmallow. Um, this is the first time that I've purchased it. Again, I'm usually pretty good at avoiding the marketing, or I'm bought into the marketing hook, line, and sinker, and I, I'm aware of it and know it and appreciate it, but I'm usually not one who buys crap for the packaging. Um, but in this case, I like the scent enough. I like the idea of having something sort of, you know, decorative for Easter. Um, I may not burn this, but the fact that it's a triple layer, those are always a little tempting because, again, part of candles are sort of just, you know, the home decor, and this fits in really nicely for spring, um, especially on something like a, a white pedestal like that with the three layers. I know some people don't like the fact that it's green, mint, blue, and yellow. They prefer some pink or purple thrown in there, but I think it's kind of nice, you know, a little uh, hippity-hoppity Peter Cottontail there. And it's an interesting label. It's a little... can't tell if I love it or I hate it. I think I love it. It's just a little weird, like, you know, sort of that hand-drawn rabbit... Um, bunny in the in the grass and it's just it works for whatever reason it spoke to me and I, I liked it and I grabbed it um, more interesting of course though what we're here for and why we purchase candles is for the scent so I want to get into that um, I think that let's just I guess start with the history of it now again I believe this is the same scent as the one last year I think it's the same name cotton candy marshmallow when that first came out we thought oh boy are they finally doing cotton candy again, like you see there on the left from 2011? Or are they doing some sort of weird version of lavender marshmallow that came out a few years back as a failed test scent? Unfortunately, it was neither of those things. Um, as it should be, though, it really should be cotton candy. They've done it in the past. It came out one time. People are fiending for a cotton candy scent. There's things that have come close. Nothing's nailed it. Name, whatever, like scent, it's, it's never worked, um, aside from the original one, which kind of had a pitiful burn, but really was a wonderful scent. So first, I guess, I'll tell you what I think that smells like before we talk about exactly what it is as far as repackages and things, and we'll compare it to, to all the other ones we have here. So again, just really, I'm, I bought into it. I think it's really a cute label there. Um, the description they say here is simply, Happy Easter, celebrate spring with a sweet blend of sparkling cotton candy, raspberries, and fresh sugared cream. Okay, I mean, whatever, you can call it whatever you want, but I don't know why you'd mix cotton candy with cream. Raspberry's fine, because there's sort of like that artificial berry flavor to cotton candy. There's not much of a flavor to cotton candy, so admittedly, it's hard to do right in a scent. Um, but it's been done before and it can be done. So sniffing it... It's really nice. Um, definitely you've got sweetness. The sugared cream, I'd agree with that. Or it is creamy and it is fruity. It is not spun sugar. There's no lightness, there's no wispiness, there's no sugar crystals to it, which you can get sometimes from a cotton candy. And it's just, yeah, it's not at all cotton candy. And I really wouldn't even say, it's not marshmallow either. Um, they've done some marshmallows. They've got the vanilla bean marshmallow, the lavender marshmallow, um, pumpkin whatever marshmallow. And marshmallow should be sort of whipped, fluffy, meringue-esque, you know? You've got sort of the, the, the light, fluffy, sort, sort of sweet, sort of creamy, but not really like milk creamy, just like creamy in general, almost similar to like a whipped cream or something. Um, but that's also just not really worked, and that's not what this is either. Now, if we compare it to, boy oh boy, Cotton Candy here, Slatkin & Co. This is the, the one I've had for years. Ugly burn, changing colors here. This one was released, you can tell by the pour there, early 2011. And it says, spun sugar and vanilla bean blended deliciously with a hint of sweet tangerine. Now, I like that they said tangerine because that's kind of, they're being honest. They could have said raspberry, berry, whatever. But they were talking vanilla bean, which is not necessarily creamy. It's just the vanilla itself with the sponge sugar and a little bit of a hint of citrus is how they were flavoring their cotton candy. Now this is part of a collection, I love this collection. This was the original Boardwalk collection before the 2012 one that everyone sort of grew to, to love came out. And this was cotton candy, lemon gelato, toasted almond, salty caramel, the very first original one. Um, what else, lime ice was in there. What am I missing? I feel like there's one or two more. Fresh picked cherries, if I didn't say that. A really fun collection that was cohesive and were just very like pure incarnations of what they were supposed to be versus like marketing and just throwing, you know, name on a on a glass jar. 
And years later, this still smells, it's pretty close to cotton candy. Again, you get that sort of whipped, not whipped, sorry. You get, you got that sort of sugar crystal spun sugar without being like cloyingly sweet. And I don't know if I'd call it tangerine, sort of a citrus berry, but not heavy like your Bellini Cafe or anything that has like sugared berries and sugared grapes, you know, Bellini stuff or sangria stuff. Just very light. So it doesn't, didn't have a great throw, didn't have a good burn. I can see why they didn't bring it back for that reason because it was fairly light because really cotton candy is a taste that's hard to emulate, I think. So it's certainly not that. Then let's also compare, before we get into these two here, um, to can Yankee's cotton candy. Now obviously we know it's not Yankee, it's, it's not a repackage of a Yankee scent, but this one came out I believe last year in 2015 and people were kind of going gaga over it. And boy, smelling it now, I really don't get much of a, th a throw on it. It's like, and it's this the sort of opaque wax that the Yankee candle diehards don't usually love. It's similar to this cotton candy here, where it has that sort of a bit of a sponge sugar, a very light fruitiness. Again, really hard to emulate. Not even sure exactly how they describe that cotton candy. I bet you there's not much of a description other than sponge sugar cotton candy. You're at the fair, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so what we've learned, though, is that, let's see here, Saltwater Taffy came out following up 2011's um, Cotton Candy or Boardwalk Collection was this Boardwalk Collection that had, you know, the big ones that everyone loves, the Summer Boardwalk, Saltwater Taffy, Root Beer Float. Um, it had the conceptuals in it with your Beach Cabana, with your White Sands, just... It was one of my favorite collections I've ever done because I think there were 10 or 12 candles, but it really was, you're going to Ocean City or Atlantic City or Myrtle Beach or, you know, Miami, maybe not Miami. <laughs> you're going to, to some sort of like beach with a boardwalk, like very Americana. They all had white wax, really pretty labels. There was the saltwater taffy, um, suntan was in there. Lots of things that have come back year after year. Um, seashore was in there. Again, things that, that sort of have gone off into different collections and things like that, but it really was like 12 or, or so brand new scents. They were tested um, and most of them went wide. There were a few that I think Root Beer Float didn't make it. Saltwater Taffy did not make it. Maybe it made it in the small, single, like, you know, whatever, there were four ounce candles at the time. I think it might have made it wide, but beyond that, it didn't go out of test. Um, and I could sort of see why it was light, it was a little weird, and it didn't have the greatest burn to it. Not surprising, 2011 and 12 were kind of plagued with those, but the description on that one was the classic seaside sweet, light, fluffy vanilla cream whipped with fresh strawberries and cherries. Not unlike that description. And it really did, it really kind of smelled like taffy. And I just loved the label because it actually, it, I think it's maybe like water slides or something. But it looks almost like you're pooling a bunch of taffy. Like, you know, you're at the, wherever they make it and you're, you're pulling taffy apart. Creamy without being milky. Fruit. Cream, vanilla, sweet but not cloying. Really kind of a beautiful scent that I'm only now appreciating more than I was back then. Because I can, I can appreciate some sweet scents more than I, I used to. Really, really nice. And then that was 2012, I believe it was. Let's see what's on the bottom here. It says, yeah, it was very early 2012. And then in 2013, I believe it was, we had the... This collection, um, this one did not go out, I don't think. There was the Lakeside Collection. Again, 2012, 2013, that was really, really great fun years for Slack and stuff because they had these huge collections that really, like, you could tell they spent time and they didn't just slap them together and say, okay, we're gonna get another tropical collection out in, in eight weeks, so who cares what these look like or smell like, which is kind of how it is these days, 2015, 16. Um, but with this one, it was like Lakeside, Dockside, Strawberry Picnic, Summertime S'mores, Oh gosh, I think Boathouse Row might have been in this, and there was a Mahogany Teakwood, of course, Watermelon Lemonade made its debut, which, don't get me started on that candle, not a fan, um, but it made its illustrious debut, um, never to be off of the shelves ever again since then. Um, and Strawberry Picnic was one of them, um, alongside, there were a couple that didn't make the past test. I think this may have failed. I know that there was like a Wildflower Valley that failed. Um, anyhow, the notes on this one were a blend of red, ripe, strawberries, wild raspberries, and sweet buttercream frosting celebrates the very best part of a picnic by the lake. So it's a lakeside collection. Now, I think people always debated this, but for me, saltwater taffy and strawberry picnic were really 
if not the exact same, the tiniest, tiniest tweak, maybe a little bit more of that buttercream versus just a vanilla cream. That was more of the vanilla and cream. This might have had a tiny hit of that, like, you know, buttercream-ish, but really, most people don't do strawberry shortcakes with buttercream, right? I think it's usually like a whipped kind of vanilla cream, which would make more sense like in the saltwater taffy. Um, because I imagine this is like strawberry, short stra bleh, strawberry shortcakes. They don't mention cake, you don't really get much of a smell, but it's more than just strawberries, raspberries, and cream. Again, you know, it's funny. I didn't like this at the time, and I burned it a couple of times, but it's grown on me a bit. I think the throw was pretty weak, and this is back when the throw was expected to be really nice and strong, although now you kind of get, get what you take and you take it. And to me, these are really the same. Uh, I think people will probably debate me on that, but for me, Strawberry Picnic and Saltwater Taffy, they are the same candle. Uh, and then, I believe it was, gosh, part of the, pretty, pretty good, the early 2014, I think, Spring Street Sweet Shop Collection, where we saw Lavender Marshmallow, and then three or four really great tests that failed, the Bubblegum, um, well, of course, Lavender Marshmallow, Bubblegum, um, sort of like honey crumb cake, pineapple lemonade, pound cake, um, tons of, of really nice failed sort of sweet bakery fruity combos. Um, and one of those was uh, strawberry sorbet. I never purchased it. I didn't really care for it. To me, it was pretty much, again, it was the strawberry picnic. So in my head, strawberry picnic, strawberry sorbet, and saltwater taffy all are the same. I think people probably would debate me on that and say that Strawberry Picnic and Strawberry Sorbet are different than Saltwater Taffy. Getting down to the point though, <laughs> this Happy Easter Cotton Candy Marshmallow is not anything like cotton candy. It's not anything like the marshmallows that they have released. It really is, for me, it's the Strawberry Picnic. It's like, you know, even though these candles were made, what, pretty much three, a little over three years apart, They smell nearly identical. Um, that one, again, strawberries, cream, raspberries, and this one is cotton candy, raspberries, and cream. Call it saltwater taffy, call it strawberry sorbet, call it strawberry picnic. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I will say, though, <clears throat> the good thing is, I do think that there's more of a raspberry or generic berry than just strawberry in really in all of these um, but it, you know of course in this one because the the wild strawberries they've done in the past um, or even I think that strawberry rhubarb marmalade from last year which I, I didn't really smell much I never purchased it um, were always really fake and even the strawberry vanilla that's out this year in White Barns they have not figured out how to do strawberries well berries sort of although not the berries and cream so <laughs> uh, yeah they, they're not great with berries they've done some berries over the years that are decent but the good thing is this is a little bit of strawberry, maybe a little bit of the raspberry, but not as tart as a raspberry. Definitely sort of a generic berries. So I just call this berries. It could be a little bit of blueberry, a little bit of boysenberry, whatever. I would bet you whatever the frickin' soil that they purchase is just probably called berries. With kind of that like creamy, sugared cream they call it, that works. Think saltwater taffy. Don't even think like berries and whipped cream or bakery berries. It's more, I do think saltwater taffy is kind of a good descriptor for that because it's candied, but it's not sugar crystals. It's that creamy candy. Like you're gonna gnaw on it all day and it's, it's still sugar based, but it's like whipped corn syrup. <laughs> so if that sounds appetizing, some whipped corn syrup with some cornstarch in it or something, whatever they have with McTaffy, that's really what you're getting with this. Not sure how it will burn, honestly. I may not burn this one just because if I want the scent, I can go through these two suckers here. Um, this one I think I'll probably decorate with, and I may just save for year over year, which again, I'm not a huge fan of that in general, but for some things, it's cute, it works. People know you, you know, collect candles, they come in your home, and they see that, they're like, oh, that's, this makes sense to people who don't understand, <laughs> you know, co collecting or, or burning candles the way that, that a lot of us do. So that's my review on that. Not much of, I guess, a surprise there. I think everybody knows that it's a repackage from back in the day. The big question, what I want to know is why are they calling it Cotton Candy Marshmallow? It doesn't make sense. If they wanted to call it that, give us friggin' vanilla bean marshmallow with a little bit of berries thrown in it or something sweet. If you really want to do that, give us lavender marshmallow. Give us bubble gum. I mean... 
everyone who does these videos or does reviews, blogs, whatever has said, there are so many scents they could give us. They could give us the original cotton candy. They could, you know, I, I think that bubblegum would work. There's a million different ways they could take this to make it more truly kind of spring and eastery. But um, again, we know they're about like, oh, what do we have? That? Okay, that works. Great. Put a put a Sharpie bunny on it and it's going to sell out. And it does. I mean, it's it's sold out. The one, one caveat with this is if you don't get it in store, if you order it online, you're going to get an all yellow candle. They seem to only do the triple layers like that for in-store purchase so that they get people like me and you to snap it up when we maybe normally wouldn't have and it works. So suckers to that. But either way, it's it's a nice one. It's a fun one. It's a little something different, you know, out of the, the winter doldrums and certainly not the friggin coconut guava pineapple explosion that is going to be Bath & Body Works from January 15th through August 15th. So something different to avoid that mess and I'm happy about it. So I guess that's about it for now. Um, until next time, take care. Check me out at facebook.com slash touch the fire twice. Also check out the, my other channel, The Gentleman Next Door, facebook.com slash The Gentleman Next Door. You know how to get there. And until next time, guys, take care.